afternoon, Matt. Afternoon, everyone. Now, this a day that brings both opportunity and jeopardy, the fear of failure, the rewards of success at the end of a long season. First two, it was Richards, and then the shot is fired in with some pace, and it forced a good save from Dibble. Dibble staying on his line, Carline looking to get to it, and did! And that's a good save, and then the shot on the turn from Robinson. Really smart stop in there, though, from Dibble. Again, Brackley just knocking on the door, asking questions. This time again, Dibble's equal to it. Good shot from Carline. Oh, it's actually a block, the first one, and the second one. Really good blocks, putting their bodies on the line, making sure that that ball doesn't go in the back of the net. Cleared by Penny. Oh, they could be through here. It's Hemmings, and he's one-on-one. -on -one. Can he finish? Hemmings! His first chance, and he's taken it in the promotion final. What a break that was from Kidderminster. There was no stopping Ashley Hemmings. And their top scorer has given them the lead at St James Park. When it comes from nothing, you know, Ashley Hemmings just goes and closes down. And this is what I mean by working hard and you get your rewards. All he does is goes and puts pressure on. It's a mix up at the back and he's there to pounce. And then once he gets through, you're thinking, is he delaying it too long? But he's not. He's composed. He knows what he wants to do. Gets himself into a position and then slots it home. Brilliant finish from Hemmings. But it's the work before it. It's the going and chasing a lost cause. You make your own luck in this game and he certainly makes his own there and, and gets his rewards. What a season he's had. What form he's in at seven goals in eight games now. A goal completely against the run of play, you would have to say. But Hemmings took the chance that was presented to him. A real mix-up at the back, really, wasn't it, for Brackley? It was a terrible mix-up at the back, but listen, you've got to be there to, to pounce when, when those opportunities come. You know, we've not seen him in the first 15 minutes of the game. Watering prospects there. Brown. Hemmings. Hits it early! And scores! He's done it again! What a second half to the season that Ashley Hemmings has had. And he's firing, it would seem, Kidderminster to the National League. Well, Adam, we constantly talk about moments, big moments in games, and you need big players. And there's none bigger than this man here. Gets his second goal of the game, and what a finish. You know, his composure again in front of goal. Knows exactly what he wants to do before the ball comes to him. Let's it run across his body and great strike. Scott Doe said in, at half time, listen, there's a left footer. He wants it to get it on his left foot. There's a slight hint of, of offside, but once he gets in front of goal, he knows what he wants to do. He wants to swivel on it, back where it came from, into the far corner. Great execution. Great finish from Hemmings. And that is a that is a striker banging form. Takes a slight deflection, but. It's already going in the right direction. Brilliant finish. You always wondered coming into this whether the informed centre forwards, one or both of them, would make the difference for Kidderminster and how Hemmings has stepped forward on this big day. And Manchi. Oh, it was a bit late that challenge on Byrne. Here's Hemmings though. Hemmings, who remember, is on a hat trick. And he nearly got it. Brilliant play from Hemmings. I've got some first of all, good advantage from the referee. Late tackle, but he sees that Hemmings has got an opportunity. And as he hits it, you just think that's going to nestle in that top, top corner. He's unlucky. It's just a yard over, but it's the confidence of the man. Well, if your home form's not great, then your away has to be brilliant. And theirs has been.
Oh, could be a chance here. Oh, the goalkeeper stranded. And it's gone wide. Well, the first time that they've looked ruffled at the back. And it was a chance that fell superbly, really, to Matt Wasser. Well, it's a mix up at the back. Stead comes in and Masawasa just hits the shot, but I think it's Morrison that just recovers to, to knock that behind for, for a goal kick, uh, for a corner, sorry. Huge credit has to go to Russ Penn. The way he's turned that season around. Like I say, the fans wanted him out halfway through the season. But they stuck with him. And the players believed in him. And now they, he's getting his rewards for it. That should be an example to so many clubs. But you know what? Stick with your manager. And these are the results. Kidderminster are promoted. And they've done it in style. Nine wins in a row. Three away wins in the playoffs. They took the long route, but they did it with calm and professionalism and quality as well. Demonstrated quite clearly today by the player of the match, Ashley Hemmings. A double for him today, their top scorer this season. Really has delivered in the second half of the campaign, not more so than today. What a performance from him. And after a seven-year absence from the fifth tier, Kidderminster are once again a National League side.